All right, guys, it's semi-completionist, and we're doing a bit of a different video today. Uh, today, I want to talk about a certain situation that's going on within the Borderlands 3 game. I have no idea what's with it. I don't know why it's happening, but I'd like to get some form of feedback on it and see what other people think. So first, I'm going to show something real quick. I'm going to farm this spot and see... Just pay attention to how many legendaries I get. Okay. It's one of one grenade. Don't I don't really care about it. Just trying to show the amount. Alright. We're going to do this two more times. I really like doing this one. This is... I don't know about any other ones, but this is just very close, nearby. And it seems to be very easy, but let me, just to quicken this up, at least use my action skills real quick. There we go. Alright, got a legendary thing. We got a legendary weapon trinket that I already had. Okay, useless. Alright, one more try. Let's see what the third time gets us. You couldn't hit a cow's arse with a Deathbringer is also my middle name. And nothing for the third try. So that's how it is in base. This is my Zane character, his loadout. All that garbage. I haven't beat the game yet, so I have no guardian stuff, but that's how it is in base. Now I wanna show how it works with the Schluter. So we're going to do it three more times, once more. But this time, we'll have the Schluter on us, so it should help us out and give us more legendaries. Uh, pretty sure it works. It's like, after a kill, it gives you a thousand percent chance of legendaries. It is. It was very annoying to get. It took get the town red. forever, but I With got blood. it. With blood! In case that wasn't clear! <laughs> Sometimes their jokes are... But, I got a kill, the screen's green. And there. Got a legendary. So that's one. It does increase our drop rate by a thousand, except for... What is it? Dedicated drops. So whatever this thing is supposed to drop, it I'm pretty sure it's like the Chupacabra grenade thing. I don't really care about that one. But let's do the second time. Two. We get nothing. Perfect. <laughs> you think with the Schluter I get more, but it's it's not always exactly accurate. It it gives you a better chance of it. And now for the third one. <laughs> the lads are gonna love this. Got any more for the meat grinder? You're going and down. oh, the third time. Okay, that's actually something. Got the victory rush, the nut, whatever, and the cloning hex. Hmm. So that is how the legendaries drop. Level seventy-two, Zane on Athens from the Chupa something. I don't know its name, but that's how they drop with and without the Schluter. And now we're gonna go to Sanctuary, which is what holds the whole point of this video which is there's a machine in sanctuary that it was after a few months after the game came out around early 2020 around that time the borderlands team oh my gosh hey vault hunter have we got an opportunity for you you don't want to miss it anyway the team of Gearbox announced that there was a machine that you could basically solve stupid little puzzle things in in order for you to kinda help science is what they said the science machine so this machine has just a bunch of stupid puzzles that you do and they give you points and when you get a certain amount of points you can buy any of this stuff which gives you extra XP, damage, elemental chance, or 
the best one in all honesty, upgrade your loot quality for an hour straight of in-game gameplay. So play 10 minutes, turn it off, turn your game off, come back, you'll have 50 minutes left. It costs 1500 it's the Butt Stallion milk, apparently. <laughs> I forgot it was milk. But it works very, very well, especially with or without the Schluter, it works ridiculously. And we're gonna buy it. So, that should, yep, I have an hour. And on the bottom left, it shows that little milk carton. So now, just for the sake of, ah, uh, should I go, I'll go back to Athens, it's more even. It's gonna take a second, but I have Zane, so he moves very quickly. Okay. Now we'll just get back to that area, do it three times, and it will uh, show the complete difference of it. And I'll even, let me see, do three with this off, so just show it in base, and then three with that on. Because even in base, it's better, it just upgrades the quality. So if, I think it's basically, if you were meant to get purples, you'll get golds more often. And when it comes to that machine, they basically, hold on, I'll even check, because I have a picture of it. The, the answer as to what we were doing or helping with when doing that machine is not very concrete, but it says that uh, the project was an exciting collaboration between, the, oh my gosh, the University of, the University of Mc. Gil, M M O S American Gut, and Gearbox Software. So, apparently, they were working with a university, and in doing this, I've seen find errors in code and stuff like that for them. So, I, I don't really exactly understand how that works. I don't see how that even makes any sense on any type of way, but who really cares? We get free upgrades and they get apparently some type of data that helps them. So it's a win-win in all honesty. Plus it, I'm pretty sure it was free, I believe. I think it came with an update. Thank God Zane is as fast as he is. It just makes getting around ridiculously quick. Okay, now we're back here. No Schluter, just the butt stallion milk. And I have to, of course, go back. Makes sense. I don't know how it hasn't really wish if you left, it just does it. Come on. Okay, so now we're here. And we're gonna do it the way we've done it the other times. Three, three times just to see how much we get. Ah. Didn't anyone teach you how to fight? Okay, first try. Uh, grenade and that. Okay. Second try. And what I usually like to on the third try, we'll see it. But what I usually like to do on the third try is have the bloody harvest turned on because the this thing always spawns with a red skull that then also <laughs> usually drops a legendary. But. Second try. Legendaries. Couple. A flacker. And then... Third try. We'll likely get a couple more legendaries. Because it usually, any time you kill a boss, this thing helps drop... Bare minimum, one legendary. It's honestly better than the shooter, which kind of doesn't make sense, but... I guess one's consistently forever. One is... An artifact, the other is just an hour thing. Yep. And then we got the Star Helix. 
So that is three. Now we're going to do the maximized way that I've been doing it usually. So turn on Bloody Harvest. Got the pumpkins behind me. Hop into Athens, put the shooter on, and we will see. Maybe for the one time I should do it. Nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Because the shooter is after a kill, really. No, no, no. For the one time. Let's see how it works. Bloody Harvest. The heads should pop out of this thing. It always has one of those red ones that kind of shoots stuff at you. So there's that. Oh, yep. No Schluter. All this. Okay. What is this? No idea. But now, we will go back. Put the shooter in, and just see how it does. Because it... I believe I get, like, six, around six legendaries every time I do this. And this is usually my little farming spot for it. I just throw these things out, run over there real quick, and do it. Even once got, like, an um... A, Frost unkempt herald from this somehow. There's that. Then that. Got the chaos. Uh, whatever that grenade is. The lob. Big boom. Lob again. <laughs> Jericho. Unwilled. Alchemist. Transformer. And the jackhammer. I don't even know. I don't really need to do it three times to show you. That's. And that's just those two things stacking on top of each other. So we have upgraded loot quality plus a thousand percent chance to get legendaries for 12 seconds after a kill. Which just makes it ridiculously OP. Go on, then. I also did get- I even got this gun, uh, the, the Hellwalker. I got this also from Daddy. doing this. And bam. I don't even think I need to show a third time, it just, this, this should be evidence enough as to why I do it. I like to just, usually I hop onto Borderlands, head to Sanctuary, and farm for those little points, and then get enough points to get a couple butt stallion boost, but something happened as of New Year's, basically. It's been just not working. No one has any idea why. I've looked it up, Gearbox hasn't said anything. I've checked the Borderlands wiki, no one on there understands why, everyone it has, they're just kind of baffled. This is space, people, so don't do nothing stupid. Okay, but everyone's, <laughs> really, okay, he's just gonna, just gonna stand there, okay. But everyone seems pretty baffled as to what's the problem, I don't understand it either, because this is what I've, ha oh my god, this is what I've been dealing with. Does not work at all. I've gotten all the way up to Moxie. It will not let me go to Tannis. No idea why. I've tried to do the other ones. Gone back to Marcus. I've tried everyone multiple times. Yes, I have turned off my internet, turned it back on. I've reconnected. I've restarted the game. Uninstalled, reinstalled. Nothing works at all. As, what's today's date? Today is January 8th, 2024, 5.34 a.m. I am in eastern part of the United States, not going to say exactly where I am, but, and it still does not work for some reason. Uh, the game's completely up to date. The only thing that works is the Claptrap tutorial. You can always take a break and come back. That always happens. Only thing that works is the Claptrap tutorial, which nets you about two, a hundred to two hundred at best, doing the whole thing over, and I've had, I basically have been just farming it like that. I've had to consistently do it, which... Remember, this costs 1500 so I have to do 200 like seven or eight times just to barely get enough to buy one of these whenever I want to do this. I've kind of given up on doing it because it's not really worth it to sit through the, the tutorial in which they talk a ton. And I'm just wondering why this is happening. What, if they were going to cut this thing out, you'd think the machine would be gone, but they haven't. Has the university just stopped something? Has Gearbox stopped? I don't really get it. It's kind of annoying, because I was doing this 
for my playthrough of Borderlands 3, my my doing everything playthrough completionist thing. And, you know, I'd use this thing just to get some cool guns and mess around because I've played Borderlands like 10 times. That's where I've gotten all these golds, all this stuff, except for the shooter, is thanks to that. And it's very, very annoying not to have it and not to be able to do it and for it to randomly be cut with no explanation or fix. It, 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 it just... It just kind of pisses me off because this thing mixed with the shooter is just it's just crazy even the vending machines have more gold and stuff in them sometimes the grenades sometimes the shields but Marcus's machine it helps with keys it helps with everything just getting more golds which who really cares I don't I'm not the biggest borderlands guy I'm not like all deep into with my fingers in the community and stuff like that I don't know everything and everyone, but this thing has helped me, RIP, Trevor, but this thing has helped me get all these things, even this, whatever this one is, the launch pad, and it's helped me get just a couple gold guns, even this thing, Devil's Foursome, and stuff like that. I like to do it, it just, it's just something stupid, little and fun, that helps quicken up my progress and makes me not sit there for an entire day trying to get legendaries. Or anything like that. Borderlands 3 does is kind of generous with the legendaries, as we saw. With nothing on there, I still got some stuff. But this just gives you more of them. Instead of getting one or two, I'm getting like six to twelve legendaries. Easily. I, I just wonder why. I don't really un understand it. My only real theories are either A, the university stopped the thing as of 2024 for whatever reason. Don't know why. B, Gearbox just doesn't care and they've kind of cut it or just let it die. They don't, they see the problems with it and they just don't want to bother, which sounds like something they might do. They're a pretty big corporation and uh, I'd say they're kind of focusing on Tiny Tina's, but I don't, I don't know. I've seen the player base on that's kind of low, so that doesn't make the most sense, but, and they even still put out shift codes for like Borderlands 2, so it doesn't make the most sense. And the only other option I can think is that it's some type of internal problem with them, and they just haven't heard about it yet, hopefully, but this is today. This is today, today. I'm going to put this out today, let it upload today. It is not working, no matter what I do, no matter where, I'll even save quit real For some reason, also on the PS4, I have no save quit, or PS5. I'm on the PS5. I have no save quit button. It just says quit to menu. It doesn't let me save. I imagine it's because my game automatically saves pretty quick. I hope at least. This is the PS5 version of Borderlands 3, as far as I can tell. Okay, but I've saved quitted. A max level. I don't know if I did something magically to break my game, but even on the Borderlands subreddit, no one else can seem to figure it out. They've all tried everything. And I don't know if this is for Xbox Series X also, but. I've seen them say this is their this is happening on their PS5s also. So one more time. Won't even do her first. Let me try someone lower. Try Lilith. Nope. Yep. Every time. And then Ah, so you finally attempt to challenge my top score. Well, I warn you, I shall not go easily into that gastrointestinal night. I get this every single time. I don't know why. It makes no sense. It says, Puzzle download error. Couldn't properly retrieve a puzzle from the database. Try again later. So that's what makes me think it has to be on their ends or something. But they either just don't... I, I can only imagine that they just don't care enough, which really sucks considering the player... Ba more players are on here than their newest game. And I understand that this isn't the biggest thing. It's not going to break my game. It's not like I can't get legendaries now. It just kind of sucks that my groove has been just completely <laughs> destroyed out of nowhere for no real reason. And Hi. it likely won't be fixed. I don't know. Maybe if people make a big enough deal about it or something. I don't know. If Gearbox even cares that much. You know, they are. They're a big corporation. And they've already gotten my money for this game. So I can't imagine they do something this extra this late in the game. This isn't like God of War and they're not gonna release a quick free DLC just cause. But that's really it at the end of the day. I'm just wondering if anyone out there can figure out any reason. Is there, or 
has any logic towards it, has any answer, I'll understand if Gearbox just says, yeah, we just cut it off. I'd like to hear that at least, then if they say that, whatever. It's it's their thing to do. Um, that w it will upset me, though, because I do like using this thing, but if they just say, yeah, we shut it off, that will make more sense to me. It will make me feel like I didn't break something, or that my connection's just weird. But that's really about it. I just wanted to bring that to anyone in the Borderlands community's attention. If anyone sees this and you know someone who's going through this, or if you're going through this, hop on your PlayStation 5, PS5, uh, try to start up Borderlands also. Tell me if this is going... If, tell me if this is happening to you also, though. Is the machine messing up? I don't know if it has anything to do with Tannis not being in my story at this moment. She's kidnapped, but that doesn't make sense either, considering it, it's been going on since even before Tannis got kidnapped in my story. So, yeah. I do hope it gets fixed. I hope they don't just eventually send out an update, take it out, and that's it. That really kind of suck for me. I like using it. But with that, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Like, comment if you know anything about this or can figure it out, or if you've hopped on the, your PlayStation 5 and tried out Borderlands and it's doing the same thing for you. Uh, subscribe, all that stuff, and I will see you next time. Uh, I'm still releasing Far Cry 6 videos and stuff, but those are about done. Then I'll be showing my Borderlands stuff, and spoiler, but I'm at the part where I find Tannis, and uh, I've got all this stuff. This is my Zan. One more time. And yeah. Thank Again, thank you for watching. Hopefully someone out there can help me fix this. But I'll see you.